Yo, this is Shane717. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Faker Origins action figure. And having a look at the uh, back of the package, you see some um, awesome artwork here. And down here, there is um, some of the other figures in this wave. Um, and then over here, it uh, kind of harkens back to the original packaging on the 80s figures. It has uh, shows like a gimmick, but um, his gimmick, uh, in this case, uh, you take off his armor here to reveal his uh, components on his chest. He has a, um, looks like a recorder, like a tape recorder, the old reel-to-reels on his uh, chest. Now time to uh, open him up and uh, take a look at him. I've really been uh, happy with this line of um, figures. I think they're doing a really great job, Mattel is, on uh, kind of recreating the uh, vintage feel of the old um, figures from the 80s. Having a little bit of a time cutting that package open, I'm afraid to... Um, uh, cut anything there and he slides right out of the package like that with the um, the uh, plastic uh, bubble package whatever you call that but uh, anyways he's in there like that first of all he comes with a uh, little mini comic like um, kind of like the old uh, 80s Masters Universe figures kind of strange that there is no <clears throat> no um, lettering or uh, story to this, no writing. Kind of reminds me of the Canadian figures and uh, I live in the US so I don't know why um, that is like that here but uh, anyways you can use your mind uh, to follow the story just by looking at the uh, artwork in it I have to take a look at that soon and here is some of the other uh, figures in the wave just like the back of the package he has this little paper here it tells um, which um, pieces of his body are interchangeable uh, his feet his uh, pelvis piece belt pelvis and the um, left arm the right arm and the head you can change all those pieces pretty much all that And uh, he comes with the sword, and what I like is he doesn't have a uh, half-power sword. He has the whole sword. That's the first uh, figure of Origins I have that um, had a full sword, and I like that. And here is Faker. Kind of disappointed they did not... Um, paint his uh, eyes red I figured they might uh, do that but it's uh, I guess these are based more on the original 80s figures so I guess if you wanted to customize that you easily could some paint and all he is is a um, <clears throat> a uh, repaint of uh, He-Man himself. Drop. And I just uh, <clears throat> unfastened his um, armor back there, and um, if you take it off, there is his 
um, recorder on his chest. It's just a decal, but uh, mine looks a little off, maybe to the right a little bit. It's uh, no big deal, but uh, still looks cool though. And as far as uh, Faker's um, articulation goes, He has a good range of um, motion in all of his joints, but um, he um, pretty much has, you know, all the articulation of all the modern toys now. And um, he doesn't have a... Uh, sword holder but if you want to just put it in there like that if if it'll hold it keeps on snapping but his armor here but uh, you can arm him up like so he does not have any extra hands that came with him I thought I'd do a uh, quick comparison of the Masters of Universe Classics figures I have which are really expensive nowadays, but um, I thought I'd uh, show you what he looks like with him. Even though this figure is just a repaint of uh, he-Man uh, with the classic head, Origins head, um, he still always have like a nostalgic feeling to him. I don't know if it's the blue, the blue uh, skin and the uh, orange armor or what it is, but uh, always thought he was a cool character. Looked really neat, but um, anyways, that's it for this uh, unboxing and review, and I appreciate you all watching, and um, also if you haven't subscribed, be sure to like and subscribe if you like my videos hit the notification bell, and until next time, be safe and out.